Hi, this is Cheryl from Sea Spirit, Se Spirit Self Healing. No, 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 that's my YouTube, my uh, Facebook page. This is Cheryl from Sea Spirit Tarot. And I, I'm waiting for my daughter to come get me. We've been really busy. And I threw the spread, and I didn't get anything up yesterday, so I thought I would put the spread up. Um, it's really kind of funny. My... Uh, question is do I want to buy a banner that's got tarot cards hanging on it so like if I did an event or something they would hang and of course if they're at the Halloween store you know and then I was at Michael's and they had these most glorious uh, fortune teller card reader hanging things. I'm on a limited budget, so it's it's kind of stupid to buy anything. But anyway, this was the card reading that I spread, I spread that I did. First, I have Epona. She's the goddess of horses. I'm a goddess of horses. The Halloween card, I got Night Song, which is Hidden Treasure. I wonder if I like a different color better. Well, I'm already here. Night Song, which is says hidden talents. So me coming on to into my alternative medicine, which hasn't really really been hidden, but the tarot, which I've has been a hidden talent, because I've been following the mainstream to survive. Um. I think that card's appropriate. I think it's it's really awesome the way the energy is and that these young people now just have the guts to jump up and do entrepreneur. Of course, I had two kids to feed. My other card is skeleton strength. You know, get it down to the bare bones. Uh, that's what holds the body up, strength. So I think there's strength in this decision um, about me, I believe doing the cards, and at this point I'm doing them for fun, or for people they might help. This this is kind of just a fun reading today. This is about me. We're going to go back to town, off the island, and I was trying to decide on these those silly items. I guess you could call them silly or not. I don't know. So I talked to my pendulum, and I also laid out this card spread. The first part of it is my question. So I got the King of Cups, who has a business, is a businessman, rules his kingdom, one of emotions, one of darkness in the cup, could well be a tarot reader, a palm reader, which is not really my thing. I've tried that. Um, and the other part of my, that's a king. The other part of my question, here came up a major arcana of the lovers, which is, I'm not going to take this as I got a boyfriend coming. I take this as uniting myself, because the whole point of this is my soul, son, self, and my moon, and doing what I think <clears throat> spirit, my spirit wants me to do, not the carpet jobs that I've been doing. And the third part of my question is how I feel about my question. A major arcana card, the fool. It's a new beginning. Do I feel like a fool wanting to go back to the Halloween shop and buy a tarot banner and to Michael's to buy this cool fortune telling hanging <laughs> when I really have limited budget you know am I being a fool am I being a fool why I'm doing this this reading is because right now I feel that I can't see clearly there's the two swords yes or no do I do it both swords could be the right way. They could just be different ways. Or maybe I should just choose one as in a yes-no spread. Or maybe my blindfold is <clears throat> with the waning moon there with a, 
I'm just having trouble in my head with these swords jumping into my new entrepreneurship that it could turn into down the road if I do an itsy shop or something similar. The um, best expected outcome, if I buy these things, use card readings for anything, huh? Is um, the Ten of Cups, which is family, hereditary, happiness, money, just everything in my life going well, okay? And the big picture of that is the Six of Cups, which is a card of of um, remembering. And she's looking at pictures. Is she looking at pictures and doing a psychic reading? I mean, that's not the normal thing of this card, but that certainly does come up. Lots of flowers, lots of cups, lots of uh, maybe pictures on the wall. Could be family or they could be her spirit helpers. Maybe I'm just making this reading go how I want it to be. It's always possible. What I'm bringing in is I feel like I'm on a tightrope with this, walking that tightrope. This is a two of wands, so this is energy, the energy to do it, the energy to have the staying power, the energy to <laughs> stay stable holding my parasol while I'm standing on the tightrope on one leg. The outcome that could be expected from this <clears throat> Action is the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups, again, um, a fertility symbol, fertility for a balance in my whole life, fertility for money, fertility for running a new occupation, a new way of life. Then I'm starting it right at almost 70 years old, so that's pretty wild. I feel so much fun, though. And possibilities, things to look out for, is we got the Ten of Swords, which, you know, is like baked, cooked, overdone. Except I was baked, cooked, overdone previously, and now there's a full moon here. Let go of all this head trip I have that I am not worthy. I am not good enough to do this. Um, this will not succeed. See, I'm holding my head here. Oh, my God, it's all in my head. It's all swords. It's all in my head, above my neck, stories I tell myself. I said something similar that would, like, match this car. I don't remember what it is. And, and my daughter says, well, like, that's, that's what your idea of it is. That's not how it's really going. So that's pretty cool. The wall card or, or the timing card... Is an emperor. You don't question the emperor. The emperor doesn't question. The emperor says, okay, this is what I'm creating. This is what I'm doing. It will be done. It will be done. Got the ram of persistence. I think that's supposed to be an ego, but it looks like a griffin to me. Either one, protection and knowledge. It can be the one at once. Lots of red. And then the bottom of the deck, I hate reaching across there, sorry, is the one I've been consistently getting, the Knight of Cups. He's he's uh, not moving real quickly. The horse is in the water of the, the unconscious, mixed with the water of the conscious, or the mass unconscious, I guess you'd call it. He has his grail. Nothing would deter him from filling his grail. And I look at this as nothing sh should deter me from filling my grail. And the knight, he's not moving very fast. I mean, he's moving steadily along. Got to make some changes off and on. He's listening to his intuition. Doing what the cup, what needs to be done to fill the, the chalice cup. And that is... That reading today on should I buy props for my tarot in case I think they'd be so useful as 
business. I mean, my regular decorating is a cult anyway. Everything I own is an altar or an energy source moving in my house. So my question was, would it be beneficial to spend the money that I really should not spend on these items? And I basically get a yes. Now my next issue is how to make a Maven altar to go on my card, but we'll leave that down the road and see what we come up with. Um, maybe I should put the money into the occult. And I'll figure out something for the celebration if I have to use rosemary. Love and light, God bless you. Be aware of omens that you see, uh, thoughts you have when you see, scenes and omens, how this is the book of life. This is how we go through life. And we're all faced with many of these decisions. So anyway, back to love and light. May the God and Goddess bless you on this day. We're having a wonderful stormy day, something coming in from the Gulf, but not a hurricane. Everything is everything is kind of in that in-between state, you know, that kind of dawn and dusk. Anyway, I'll see you all next time. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.